Libra, I'm Sha from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 23rd to the 29th of March 2020 and I'm doing a nine card spread like I do in my extensive readings um, but I'll only will be taking the vertical line and I've got the goddess cards and I've got the answers of the angels and an inspiration card. We all need to be inspired at the moment, if not always and the bottom of the card. Now, if you're new, then please subscribe and hit that bell and then you'll be notified when new videos are loaded up. Next week, the romantic uh, readings will be uploaded as well, as I'll be doing besides the uh, weekly vlog of the Dutch Witch and what does it entail. And this is because we are dis mainly discussing the deck, the Oracle Witches, uh, the Witches Oracle deck by Marla Brooks, and this has actually instigated a good discussion and seeking knowledge for everybody that's a non-pagan or a non-witch. Uh, what is the difference between a witch and a crystal healer, an aromatherapy healer, a reflexologist, or a homeopathist, or anybody working with herbs and essential oils or uh, other essential things or alternative therapies. Okay, so I hope you will join us there. We'll, uh, this will be carrying on for quite a while because it's quite intensive and we would like to spend good time, quality time discussing this. If you have any suggestions or any questions, then please uh, uh, go to the vlog from last week and there you can find Wendy's email address and website. She is Dutch, um, but I do most of the translating if she doesn't understand or talk can talk, say it in English. She's uh, fantastic and she does try her best in explaining as good as she can. She's absolutely a wonderful lady and she also is a therapist, an alternative therapist, like a life coach. I'm a life coach officially. Um, I'll have to ask her how she would describe herself uh, in what she does, um, but she works with Mother Earth. Besides that, she does also healings and uh, she works with magnets as, and herbs as well. And she works in schools uh, with all kinds of people. Okay, so um, you make this reading or this channel uh, as well, my Cyber Angels, and thanks for coming back. And if you're new, please subscribe and hit the bell. And if you would like to become a Cyber Angel and join the Cyber family in the tea room, then do so on a Monday or on a Friday as we go live then in the English language. If you know Dutch, then you can also join me on the Wednesday night. I also collaborate with other uh, readers or creators on a Tuesday and you can follow me um, uh, on Facebook on uh, Charlie's Angel Tarot there and I will be posting uh, their videos or their playlists there next Tuesday as well. So let's get started with your reading Libra and the first card uh, I'm also sorry also what I would like to mention is that we are already coming to the end of the first quarter by the end of this week we will have reached the first end of the quarter so I'm taking this reading also um, as a, a general reading for the last three months January February and March and see whether this reading resonates for you for the last three months or just this week even doesn't resonate with you then look at your moon sign or your rising sign and of course we are going into the sign of Aries uh, whilst I'm uh, recording this on the 22nd we are already in Aries as I started doing this on the 21st and some say the pagans say it is the 19th um, that spring starts because their calendar is different than our calendar. The first card that you've got is the garden and the garden means coming together, going to presentations, going to birthdays, uh, going to meetings. You might be meeting somebody 
somebody from the past or being reunited with somebody this could have happened uh, since January and see whether that is, resonates with you perhaps you were reunited when you went back to school in January because we've got the book here and the book means a study a new study or uh, because you start a new study in January you might be reunited with old classmates uh, and there might be secrets on the other hand because all cards have several meanings so take your time to find out what uh, the secrets or things that you don't know are about because we've got a clock on the book and a lock that means that you might need to do some more research you've got the key in your own hand uh, to open up the doors to positivity or to knowledge in this case it could be about love because we've got a rose in the cage you might feel as if you are tied up and you need the knowledge to uh, get out of this negative situation it could be in work it could be uh, in a love situation uh, I don't see, well I we see the rose there so it could be in a relationship it could be love or it could be uh, work it could be any relationship and we've got the tree the tree means steadfastness you've sprouted roots look at this big fat oak tree it also means health it also means that heaven and earth and uh, as ancestors are connected heaven and earth are connected you are never alone now the tree for me also means space you need space uh, well we are all cooped up at the moment so perhaps you might want to go outside it is okay to go outside but keep your distance from others if you do talk uh, with somebody else then keep your distance follow the advice that is given okay now uh, that will protect you and your health and it can, you can get some fresh air now the tree also means money you might have um, got a job that is durable and for long to uh, long term you might have been in the job for a long long time and you've sprouted roots there so this also means money to me you are a superstar because you are being illuminated by the Sun you are in the spotlight there might be a promotion there might be a next step up in the relation or in work or in business uh, you might become a uh, 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 assistant to the man managing director um, or an other CEO I don't know what that means uh, but uh, higher up in the company okay you've been noticed you've been recognized you're in the limelight but there is also something illuminated illumination but means that something is highlighted a situation a question an issue so you might need more information and need to do more research <clears throat> it also means that it could be a Leo that has an eye on you you might be moving home you might be moving business you might be also going on holiday although that is not likely at this moment and in time in most countries as we are in lockdown in Europe and in England um, uh, underneath you the f or for the foundation is a warning know your boundaries and let others know your boundaries don't let anybody cross your boundaries because they need to respect you but everything that you cross will turn to positive because you've got the king of pentacles on this one and that draw my attention in this reading I'm not using the cartomantic uh, cartomancy sign 
uh, at this stage but sometimes it just draws my attention or the numerology only when I've been drawn to it if you know your boundaries let others know your boundaries you can work in groups but it's also luck in uh, work and business so don't worry too much you've got the you've got the key in your own hand if you want to buy more stuff for your business then uh, make sure you get the right information and whether you make the right investment it can turn out to be gold so that is on a proper foundation because it's underneath you okay you might get help from institutions because you've got the tower the Linamon tower does mean something different than the tower in the tarot but I keep that in the back of my mind unexpected changes and that is what it means in the tarot um, something was not built on proper foundations okay so make sure that this foundation that your investment if you're going to make an investment um, is built on proper foundations by giving your boundaries you can work well in groups that is okay but people need to know where they stand with you you are ambitious like I said the next level so uh, remember the people around you that's what it means ambition remember the people around you big time they support you whilst you're climbing to the top if you get to the top you uh, it will be very lonely if you've forgotten your family and friends obviously this could also mean an institution so that could be a college a school perhaps you can do that from home you need more information as to how and when you can start or do it you can already start perhaps and uh, find out more information and start the, the, the study so that you can uh, get back to work uh, after everything is settled and you will get help from institutions just ask the right questions use your brain and your wisdom you've got enough wisdom okay there might be disagreements um, but the, it will be short-lived because the Sun is already breaking through this is the future line there could be a man that helps you this man could be a cancer Scorpio or a Pisces as you've got the ace of um, hearts and so there could be a new beginning in passion uh, or work there could be a new love now I've done this in most readings I'm just going to take one line and like I said you can read the diamond you can read them vertically horizontally you can read the diamond you can read the corners and this is what I do and it takes about 40 to 60 minutes uh, in an extensive reading and uh, in I'm taking this line you might be meeting a man this could be a father figure because the um, hearts are love passion nurturing and uh, sensuality and sexuality you might uh, meet the man or if you are a man you might want to start a study or if you're a girl as well it you are in the limelight somebody's got an eye on you this could be a Leo this man if it isn't you but he might help you to get to where you want to go where you want to open the door to whether it's a relationship a course a new study or a business remember there could also be help from institutions perhaps the tax office is saying okay it's a real bad time at the moment forget about the tax or here you are you've got a grant to carry on your business now from the goddess you've got Aphrodite well we've got sensuality and sexuality Ooh, perhaps a honeymoon okay inner goddess this is the inner goddess okay so let your goddess come out shine and be fine be beautiful be in the spotlight wake waken your goddess within you and nurture yourself with the godly or the divine um, Uh, with your divine you're worth it you're worth it so let your inner goddess shine no need to worry 
no need to worry Libra okay and then we've got the ring I forgot about the bottom of the card this is the second time I did that with Virgo as well like I said you might be getting partnerships could be in business or in uh, love so that is the I'm um, lifting the veil the corner of the veil it is there for you only if you open up your heart to love keep your whether you're a woman or a man okay if you if you are a man you could be meeting a a, 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 a career orientated woman because this is definitely about career study work um, that could be an ambitious woman okay now that is awesome okay keep your life simple keeping life simple means having faith that your spiritual connection your inner goddess okay flourishes in a life dedicated to joy love and peace if your daily activities are so overwhelming that you don't make these things your priority you are disregarding the value of living a simple life in other words your simple life should also be your family and your friends don't forget them you can maintain a simple life don't make it more complete uh, uh, complicated than you need to keep your life simple okay Libra I hope you have enjoyed this reading and please remember I keep on telling everybody I've been saying this for two years together we stand strong have faith we'll get through this and you know that we are not alone the divine is with us and so are the angels so please like this video share this video and join me in the live sessions on Monday and Friday feel together even if you are physically alone I hope you have a beautiful week stay strong and I'll see you in the life if not I'll see you in the next video thank you very much for the thumbs up and sharing much appreciated ciao ciao